Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for J -J -J Gemini. Gemini. What's up, Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. How you doing? How you doing? Thank everyone for joining me. They welcome subscribers, newcomers, cross watchers, guests. Everyone here is welcome. Uh, Thank you guys for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, donations, booked readings, and everything. I love you. As you come in, I ask that you please hit that thumbs up button for me. Support your girl. That gives me energetic. That's an energetic donation, and believe it or not. And it helps me read the um, energies of the collective, okay? So thank you guys. If this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every Gemini cross watcher or whoever. It may not resonate with anyone. Wow. Okay. Um. So take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay. Choir, come to the front. One, two, three, go. Gemini, 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 Gemini. I say Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, uh, uh, Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yes. All right. Let's get the choir hand. Thank you, choir members. Thank you so much. We are over six thousand members now, you guys. Isn't that amazing? Thanks to you, okay? There would be no me without you and you without us. We won, honey. We Frankie, Beverly, and Maze up in this BF, all right? So, my beautiful Geminis, my beautiful people, collective whoever, okay? Someone is observing you because they got conflict and chaos in their life, but we don't know. So, I'm just going to go a little bit of was led to the wisdom oracles and see what's going on in the energies of my baby Geminis. So... Clearly, you're doing good, Gemini, okay? I'm hearing shining, 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 yeah. All of this winning, I've been losing my mind. Ho, ho, don't, don't try to slow me down. Okay, I don't know why I like that so much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you're building blocks right now, okay? You're doing it effortlessly with ease. This is what you do. You got you can do it with your eyes closed, Gemini, okay? You're co-creating with the universe, building blocks. You're halfway there. Don't, don't try to slow me down. I think she said hold me or slow me, whatever. Don't try to hold a bitch back. That's what I'm getting, okay? Somebody's mad and they're watching you building this building blocks. Whatever this new business, new idea, new collaboration, new creation, Gemini, and it's causing conflict. In I never understood why uh, yo shit, Gemini cross watcher, whoever, is a high vibe. I'm a, you know what? I'm going to start addressing this channel with high vibes and low vibes. You either fit it where you put, get in, okay? Shit, I ain't got time to say cross watcher, new subscriber, returning guest, and all of that. You get in with the energies. I'm an energy reader, so, okay? So, some I don't understand how... Your energy of being high vibe, building blocks on top of the world, collaborations, and that this is all you. This is all you. Somebody mad, and it's causing them K flit, K flit. <laughs> this is a I, retrograde, okay? Retrograde. It's causing conflict and chaos in their life. That's interesting. I never got it. Because, Gemini, you here, you're serendipity. Serendipity. You're in serendipity, okay? You're in peace, you're at ease, you're happy. Whatever the um, hardships are, they're over. It's over and it's it's all the way up and nothing will stop you. See how she's just going up. It's Sarah Dimpity. Okay? And because you've cleaned it up, you've cleaned up your energy, you've cleaned up your act, you've cut out people, places and things that no longer serve your highest interest nor best good. Because that's what the things are. The things. These things that we go through in life, these people, places and things around us, they are tests. To elevate us into our divinity, okay? We can't be dogs chasing our tails round and round and round and round. And you're wondering, why do I keep getting the same people? Why do I keep getting the same energies? Like, it's you, okay? So you have to clean up your energy, okay? You have to raise your vibration. There's going to be some things that you don't want to do with your lower self. Doesn't want you to separate from. But, honey, you're all going to have to come to the edges, which the high vibes have done that. Okay, they've come to the edge. They've cleaned up their energy. They're in perfect peace and serenity, serendipity, whatever you want to call it. 
And now they're working on their next creations, moving forward, upward, and onward, closer to their dreams. And I love it because you guys are full of faith when I look at this card. Because you see how she has a blindfold on? She doesn't see what she's doing, but she has the faith and she's building. Because a lot of you don't know what you're doing, but you're going on faith, okay? And that's okay, because that's what God wants you to do, okay? A lot of you are at peace at, 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 uh, in your life right now, okay? The high vibes are at peace, okay? Um, before I finish this, I just want to get some things off my chest because a lot of people are confused on how life really works, okay? As far as energy works and things like that, okay? Once you're, in a diff once you're in a high vibe energetic state, you're in a different mindset, mind frame, okay? The old you has passed away and the, the new you is in a serendipitous state. You've cleaned up the energy and you're at peace and you bring peace to those around you as well, okay? Low vibes, those that have not cleaned up things, you're still working in your lower vibration, your dark shadow side. You're not cutting out people, places, and things. You're very attached to them. You're, you're very fearful of the unknown. You, that's why you don't build, that's why you're not building anything for those of you that are not moving forward, okay? You're holding on to fear, you're holding on to doubt, you're holding on to mistrust, you're holding on to old wounds, childhood um, baggage that you have not cleaned out, okay? I suggest that you guys get a shadow, uh, a, sh a shadow workbook and kind of, you know, journal, journal your things, journal, what the fuck, that was confirmation, you see how that fell down, it was like, yep, and this is a rose court. Some of you guys need to work on your heart chakra, learning to forgive yourself and moving on, okay? from the people that have hurt you, the places that have hurt you. It's okay, you guys. It's scary, but it can be done. And when you when you do the work, serendipity. Serendipity, okay? When your mind is on God and, and you're one with him, he, you're able to co-create and build building blocks. You have new beginnings, okay? Yep. Okay, what else, angels? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me say this because I'm looking at this come to the edge too. This is a nine. So you have to end some things. And a lot of you don't want to end things. It's kind of scary. It's feeling like you're jumping off the cliff into the unknown. But that's part of faith and trust in the divine. Okay. I always say faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But you got to clean some shit up first in order to get into this piece. So clearly spirit is, nothing is a coincidence. Nothing, no thing. Everything is divine timing strategically, spiritually ordained and ordered, okay? Your steps have already been ordered by the Father, okay? There's nothing new under His Son. So someone needs to hear this, okay? A child, from what I've been seeing in the comments, too, it is for somebody. And we have a lot of, um, not a lot, because I will say about 80, 90% of the collective is high vibe. And the other, like, 20, 15% is negative and low vibe. It's just disgusting, I mean, you guys are welcome. Everyone's welcome here. I would just like to clean up all the low vibage so we can elevate higher into the ethers. Okay, what else, angels, out to see? Community. Okay, hold on. Give me some more angels, and I'm going to get into the tarot real quick. Oh, damn. Did y'all throw all that? Mmm. Okay, yeah. So when I pick it out, out to see... Some of you guys feeling alone right now, abandoned possibly. Divine has pulled you out to sea to get into this peaceful state. So sometimes you, some of you have no one around you. Some of you are in a secluded hermit home hermit um, energy right now, you know. And divine has caused this for you to go within and seek some type of enlightenment within yourself of what you need to clean up, okay? Because if when you when like I said. God don't respect people. He respect energy. And it's how you move. So whoever was moving not the way they're supposed to move, you need to clean that shit up. Because the Father is separating you. Okay? Some of you actually are going on a trip, going on a cruise. Congratulations to the islands for a vacation to get away to get in some peace. Okay? Because you got a lot of fucking conflict and chaos around you that you need to clean up. So anyway... No place like home. So the other energy that I was picking up, um, somebody's trying to get to you, Gemini. Um, someone in your energy I'm picking up, I don't know if it's a friend, 
or an ex-lover. Some of you it is an ex-lover. Some of you it is a friend. It's going to resonate different for everyone. But someone sees you as there's no place like home. And they're watching you build this. And some of you also have built your first home. Congratulations. Congratulations to you that have built your home. Okay. And th this is making a lot of you happy. This is like a bit, a bit, a bit of been a big dream of yours. What is wrong with this Mercury retrograde? Guys, forgive me. Okay. Um, no, I have not been drinking or anything. It's just weird. My speech is tongue tied. But um, this person looks at you like no place like home as they see you're building your blocks. After you left this person, you went into a peaceful state and you started to create whatever you're creating right now. And this person's feeling left out in the cold about it. But deep knowing, you already know that this person is nothing but a headache that you needed to clean out of your energy. And that's the truth. So we're going to get into the tarot. I don't know where this is going. What's, what the hell? But anyway, uh, Gemini. Angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Give us uh, clarity on what's going on with Gemini and their energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We shuffle again. I'm going to do it three times. Three times the charm, right? All right. One more. Yeah, you've decided to cut out things with the two of swords I saw at the bottom. Yeah, four of cups. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. Definitely. And they're going to tell you they've cleaned up their act. Oh, my God. Oh, but deep down inside, uh, Gemini, you know that they are saying, I'm just saying, oh, yep, could be dealing with another Gemini, such as yourself, okay? But it's an air sign. So this air sign, oh, my God. Uh, okay, whatever. And if it's not the air sign or whoever, whatever, okay? But if somebody feels you're no place like home, they see you building blocks, they want to come build with you, you deeply know within yourself that you need to clean this person out of your energy or you've already cleaned this person out to, um, out of your energy, out to sea, and now you're at peace within yourself. This person sees you at peace and serendipity and it pisses them off for whatever reasons. Like I said in my previous readings, this person possibly has a mental problem, which they probably do for them to be even be mad about someone else. When all they have to do is the same damn thing to get the, the results that you're getting, Gemini. It's really not that hard. I don't understand why people can't do shit for themselves, but they expect everyone else to do it for them. And they grown-ass motherfucking people. But anyway, this person's um, deciding, they're contemplating, they want to say something to you. I'm feeling like the last time that you spoke with this person, Gemini or Crosswatch or whoever... That there were some really harsh, full, sharp things said to you or whatever they did. If they didn't say anything, they did something fucked up. They possibly had another lover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what they did. And they took a leap of faith somewhere else. So you were being juggled by this person. So now, after the fact that you have glown up, blew up, you're starting your new businesses. Some of you have built brand new homes and shit like that. And I'm hearing mansions. Okay. All right, I'm hearing 3,000, 4,000 square foot homes. Okay, 10,000 square foot homes for some of you. That's what's up, Gemini. That's what's up, high vibe. That's what's up. You hear this, low vibe? Not to say that you're not bad people, but it's the way you're moving, okay? So now this person that wants to come back to you because they juggled you, they're having a heavy burden now. It's been a heavy burden. You know why it's a heavy burden, Gemini? Didn't I say y'all was building houses and shit and new projects and shit? Because you here. Look at this fucking treasure chest full of money. This is where you at, Gemini. Yeah. And the money for the other person has slowed down. Pretty much. Um. Yeah. As soon as they went over to the other lover and left you, you cleaned it up immediately and their money stopped for them immediately. They went into heavy burden immediately and then you went into peace immediately. They see you being victorious and successful. Okay, this is victory. Okay, this is moving forward. They're saying you're being celebrated. You're being, yeah, you, yeah, because the three of cups is right here at the bottom. You're being celebrated. You're being glorified, you're being like loved, you're pouring up, you're going out with your friends, you're in high, held in high honor, you know what I mean? People are looking at you, you're held on some type of platform where people can stare and praise and celebrate and pour up and you're just doing the shit, Gemini, you're the bomb.com is pretty much what I'm saying. And this is get oops, excuse me. And this brings a person a heavy tower. It's a heavy, heavy tower to this person because they didn't even see you. God hid them right in front of their face. Oh, that's what I'm going to name this. Yeah, God hid you. 
You were a secret. And now this tower, they're like, oh my God, did I leave my person? Because I'm feeling, Gemini, before you had cut this person off or whatever, before they said what they said or did what they did, you held this person in high honor with this lover's card, okay? You felt a soulmate connection with this person. But, like I said, the way they moved, I'm hearing, I like the way you move. Yeah, you moved in the bomb. God said, I like the way you move, and that's why he blessed you with the blessings, and he got you sitting up here at the Six of Wands right now. So now, after the fact, like I said, the shit with the other lovers and fell apart, they're looking at you like there's no place like home. And deeply knowing, you knew that they wanted you for your money, Gemma. Now you knew it. And that's, and that's the truth be told. Look. The truth be told, you know they wanted you for your money. You see this motherfucking rat up here? That's the person that you cut off. Or they cut you off and then you cut them off or however it goes, okay? Yeah, so now they want to come run back in passionately towards you to fuck some shit up. Okay, I told you this person was nothing but a burden anyway. They've been a burden the whole time to you. You were trying to help them out. But they are nothing but a big ass burden. They're a playboy, playette. They're flighty. They're in and out. Here, you see right here. Now they want to come running back. Because this is how y'all relationship has been. For how, however many uh, length of time that y'all have been together. I'm hearing 10. So it's either been up to 10, 10 months, 10 years. It could be anywhere from that. That's what I'm hearing. And this person has been super flighty in and out. But yeah, they want to rush back into you. Because you're here. You're, you're a home builder. You're a business owner. You're a nurturer. You're mother, CEO, uh, all of that shit, okay? You bring in residual income, things that you do one time and get paid for over and over and over and over and over, and over again for some of you, okay? And then others of you, y'all just got a, a bomb-ass job. And then for others of you, y'all got multiple things going on, okay? And you do because the, the, you're hearing this energy right now, Gemini, Queen of Pentecal. Gemini, you're manifesting. You have all the elements, all the tools at your disposal to continue building. And some of you are almost finished with your home for those of you that are building your home. You're almost at the finishing block and you're fucking so happy. And then when you move in that motherfucker, you're going to be like, oh my God, there's no place like home. So congratulations for those of you that are building. That's a big deal for you. Not even, not only to buy your own home. But to build your own home the way you want to build it, the way you want to have it. And whatever's going on is causing a tower. So tell us what's in this person's energy. Why are they coming back to my date, be Gemini's? Because you cut them out for their whore like ways. Yep, Gemini, you cut them out for your whore like ways. I mean, not yours, their, their whore like ways. You could be dealing with another air sign, like I said before, or a fire sign. This air and fire be keep coming up a lot in our readings, I noticed. But this is y'all spouses. Y'all be telling me that this is. Um, yeah, and you cutting them out, the Ten of Wands, heavy burden. Heavily burden. And they're drinking heavily. Yeah, definitely, because you're guarded and defensive against this person. So, angels, what advice do you have for Gemini in this situation? What are you trying to tell them to do and why? Thank you, angels. They're telling you to stay away and keep a fuck away. Stay away, get in your cars, stay gone. If y'all gone and disappeared, stay disappeared, okay? Motherfucker want to call and message you, don't even answer. Just stay away because this motherfucker's spying on you. They is spying because they burning. They burning and they're imbalanced and they want to balance some things out with you. Yeah, they're burning. Look at this tower. Doesn't look like an exploded penis on the top. I'm just saying it doesn't have to be. It could be a tower of any damn thing, but this is the energy that I'm picking up. This is that same nasty, leaky, pussy, disgusting energy because of this energy that they're in right now. All of this fucking around, okay, has caused a heavy burden. And now they're all in their feelings, heavily drinking because of all the multiple lovers and choices that they had. All by moving so quick. Child, they got burnt and clapped and crunched. Yeah, they're pretty much, it's, it's a wrap for them. And you know it. You know it in your tuition. So all you're doing, Gemini, you ain't doing nothing but working on you, working on yourself, okay? But this person's trying to do, go back to the goddamn book. You see him in this book doing some research and shit. I'm hearing either do a money spell, a love spell, and or both, okay? They want to definitely, 
Oh, they definitely doing a love spell. Uh, yeah, this person's super burdened that you have dropped them like a hot ass fucking habit. And they are trying to do a spell, a passion spell, some type of love spell. Yeah, so you can forget what the past of what had happened. Because all they keep doing is reminiscing. And I don't see the Six of Cups, but I'm just picking up intuitively. This person's reminiscing over and over and over and over and over again. They're feeling foolish with the things that they have said because they know whatever they said or whatever they did brought a complete halt, a complete ending to the situation, which when they went over, over here to the other side, they had contracted something and now they're drowning. They need some type of assistance, some type of payout. They need some money. Okay, you're going to, this person comes back in your energy, you're definitely going to have to, because look, they don't have no money. You're going to have to give them some money. Lord, I'm tired of these broke folks coming in, everybody energy. Can y'all get y'all some money, please, and stop getting my babies' energies I'm mean, trying to get their monies? Sir or ma'am, sir or ma'am, Jim and I stopped picking up these fucking, these fucking projects off the street, okay? I know y'all got good hearts with the lovers and y'all want to motherfucking help people and shit, but you can't help everybody. When people come to you like this, Jim and I, look, some of you are healers, you are, you're love, you're nurturing, you're loving, but some things only God can handle, like this shit. God handles, the divine can only handle these type of burdens, okay? Because if you notice, as soon as you release yourself, you got peace from, so you release yourself from this energy, this chaotic fucking heavy burden energy, you are in peace now, Gemini. So stay that way. That's what the angels want you to do. You've come too far. Yeah, you've ended it. There's been an ending to this two of cups situation because you don't think they owe two of cups no more because they not. Period. Yep. And this person, FYI, Spirit, want me to just let you know, this person may come back look like looking like this motherfucking person. All right, all right. Whatever this is. He might come back looking like that, Gemini. So just be careful. Woo. But the spirit already say, honey, they know it. Gemini are already on it and they know it. And they're going to keep moving forward. And they're going to keep blocking this motherfucker. And they're going to keep continue building their motherfucking shit. And you're going to still remain at this ten of pentacles pretty much, Gemini. So good job, Gemini. High vibe. High vibe. High vibe. High vibe. So the low vibe, if y'all sad, crunchy, thirsty, sleepy, hungry, all of that, I'm going to need y'all to raise it up. Raise it up. And if you can't raise it up, I don't know what to tell you. You need to go back to these videos and listen then, okay? So Gemini, that's been your reading. I hope this has helped. Until the next time, my loves, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.